Fandom's obsession with lore has hurt media overall. This is a bit of a weird one. It applies to a couple of shows, but it also applies to a lot of games as well. I like lore, I really do. It's nice to know about a character or a world's backstory. And a lot of people agree with me. In fact, some people seem to think that the backstory in the lore is more important than the fore story. To put it in the simplest terms, this should be what's called the Five Nights at Freddy's effect. I'm not the biggest fan of the series, but let me see if I got a good grasp on what happened to it. The first game had an interesting concept for the time that clicked with a lot of people, and it also had a dark underbelly. Both of these things prodded on channels about lore and theories about the game to dig deeper and see what they could find. As they dug into the underbelly, that's what the developer decided to focus on more and more and more and more. The actual game part of the game grew repetitive and neglected. Sometime later, there was this promising game called Hello Neighbor that had an interesting concept and mechanics that the developers ignored to focus on lore, putting all of their chips on getting a game theory video made about it. It's actually becoming a bit of an indie ploy in the past few years, basically putting something dark under the hood, hoping that internet lore channels will talk about them and piece together, while not focusing on the actual game. In terms of shows, this usually occurs when it comes to shows with big fandoms, like Friendship is Magic or Rick and Morty. Friendship is Magic tried to expand the lore of its world a lot. That's how we got the Tantibus, a creature that Luna created to punish herself for turning into a villain, which gets into this big, uh, hot, steamy mess about self-harm that no one wants to touch because of the implications on it. Rick and Morty is a show that is about an asshole, an asshole who repeatedly makes himself unlikable. He does unlikable, irredeemable things on an episodic, daily basis. But it's okay because the show is funny. The show also often likes to stop with the funny to go into the backstory of this guy and how this person we were introduced to by making his grandson stuff giant spiked seeds up his ass, how he's really a tortured, good-natured person that we should probably sympathize with. Because that's how you get the praise and the points. We don't like simple comedies anymore. We need to know the inner workings of SpongeBob's mind. This far into the series, I know I'm in the minority. I really do. I think I need to remind people of that. These are my controversial, unpopular opinions. And I get it. People like their lore. It gets people talking about the show or the game or whatever more. If I had to ask something, though, it'd be on the part of the creators. Get everything else done, and then focus on the lore. Lore should literally be the last priority in something like this. People didn't fall in love with things like Adventure Time or Star vs. or even Avatar because of what's buried underneath the ice. They fell in love with these characters that carried them through the lore. Like, I think that the only medium that can really work as mostly lore is what? A tabletop RPG? Thank you.